Progressive Muscle Relaxation for Children. Today we're going to practice some special kinds of exercises called relaxation exercises. These exercises help you to learn how to relax when you're feeling uptight and help you to get rid of those butterflies in your stomach kinds of feelings. They're also kind of neat because you can learn how to do some of them without anyone really noticing. In order for you to get the best feelings from these exercises, here's some guidelines I'd like you to follow. First, I'd like you to try each of these activities, even if they seem kind of silly. I'd like you to pay attention to your body and throughout these activities, pay attention to how your muscles feel when they're tight and how they feel when they're loose and relaxed. Are you ready to begin? First, find a chair and get as comfortable as you can in your chair. Sit back and put both of your feet firmly on the floor. You can just let your arms hang loose. If you want to, you can close your eyes during this activity to help you relax more, but you don't have to if it doesn't feel right for you. Remember to try to follow my instructions and pay attention to your body. Now here we go the hands and arms. Pretend you have a whole lemon in your left hand. Now squeeze it hard. Try to squeeze all the juice out. Feel the tightness in your hand and arm as you squeeze. And now drop the lemon. Notice how your muscles feel when they are relaxed. Now take another lemon and squeeze. Pretending to squeeze this one harder than you did the first one. That's right, really hard. Now drop the lemon and relax. See how much better your hand and arm feel when they are relaxed. Once again, take a lemon in your left hand and squeeze all the juice out. Don't leave a single drop. Squeeze hard. Good. Now relax and let the lemon fall from your hand. Now repeat this for your right hand and arm. Squeezing the lemon with your right hand. Squeezing all the juice out, feeling the tightness in your right hand and arm, and now dropping the lemon. Notice how your muscles feel when they're relaxed. Then taking another lemon and squeezing. Trying to squeeze this one harder than you did the first one. That's right, even harder. Now drop the lemon and relax. See how much better your hand and arm feel when they're relaxed. One last time, take the lemon in your right hand and squeeze all the juice out. Squeezing hard, good. Now relax and let the lemon fall from your hand. Now we'll move to the arms and shoulders. Pretend you're a furry, lazy cat and you want to stretch. Stretch your arms out in front of you and raise them up high over your head and way back. Feel the pull in your shoulders and stretching higher with your arms. Now let your arms drop back to your side. 
Okay, let's stretch again. Stretch your arms out in front of you and raise them over your head, pulling them back, way back, and now dropping them. Good. Notice how your shoulders feel more relaxed. This time, let's have a great big stretch. Try to touch the ceiling. Stretch your arms way out in front of you. Raise them way up high over your head and push them way, way back. Now notice the tension and pull in your arms and shoulders. Hold tight. That's great. Now let them drop and feel how good it is to be relaxed. Feels good and warm. Now we'll move to the face and nose. Here comes a pesky old fly. He's landed on your nose. Try to get him off without using your hands. That's right. Wrinkle up your nose and make as many wrinkles in your nose as you can. Squint your nose up real hard. Now you've chased him away. Now you can relax your nose. Oops, here he comes back again. Right back in the middle of your nose. Wrinkle up your nose again. Shoo him off. Wrinkle it up hard. Hold it just as tight as you can. Okay, he flew away. You can relax your face now. Notice that when you scrunch up your nose, your cheeks and your mouth and your forehead and your eyes all help you is because they get tight too. So you can now relax your nose and your whole body relaxes too and that feels good. And this time that old fly has come back, but this time he's on your forehead. Make lots of wrinkles in your forehead. Try to catch him between all those wrinkles, holding it tight, and now you can let go. He's gone for good. Now you can just relax and let your face go smooth with no wrinkles, and your face feels nice and smooth and relaxed. Now we'll move to the stomach. Hey, here comes a cute baby elephant. No, he's not watching where he's going. He doesn't see you there, and he's about to step on your stomach. Oh, don't move. You don't have time to get out of the way, so just get ready for him. Make your stomach very hard. Tighten up your stomach muscles real tight. Hold it. It looks like he's going the other way, so you can relax now. Let your stomach go soft. Let it be as relaxed as you can. And that feels so much better. Oops, he's coming this way again. Get ready. Tighten up your stomach real hard. And if he tries to step on your stomach and it's hard and it won't hurt then, make your stomach into a rock. Oh, now he's moving away again. You can relax now. Kind of settle down, get comfortable, and relax. Notice the difference between a tight stomach and a relaxed one. Now that's what we want to feel. Nice and loose and relaxed. You won't believe this, but this time he's coming your way and no turning around. He's headed straight for you. Tighten up, tightening it hard. Here he comes. You've got to hold it tight. Now he's stepped over you. He's gone for good. You can relax completely. You're safe. Everything's okay and you can feel nice and relaxed. This time, imagine that you want to squeeze through a narrow fence 
and the boards that have splinters in them. You'd have to make yourself very skinny if you're going to go through. Suck your stomach in and try to squeeze it up against your backbone, trying to be as skinny as you can. Now you can relax and feel your stomach being warm and loose. Okay, let's try to get through that fence now. One more time. Squeezing in your stomach, making it touch your backbone, making it small and tight. Holding, holding. Now you got through that narrow little fence with no splinters and you can relax. Settle back and let your stomach come back out where it belongs. You can really feel good now. You're doing really well. We'll move to the legs and feet. Now pretend that you're standing barefoot in a big fat mud puddle. Squish your toes down deep into the mud. Try to get your feet down to the bottom of the mud puddle. You'll probably need your legs to help you push. Push down and spread your toes apart. Feel the mud squish up between your toes. Now step out of the mud puddle. Relax your feet. Let your toes go loose and feel how nice that it feels to be relaxed. Back into the mud puddle. Squish your toes down. Let your leg muscles help push your feet down. Push your feet hard. Try to squeeze the puddle dry. Okay. You can come back out now. Relax your feet. Relax your legs. Relax your toes. It feels so good to be relaxed. No tetanus, tenseness anywhere. You feel kind of warm and tingly. Stay as relaxed as you can. Let your whole body go limp and feel all your muscles relaxed. In just a minute, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and that will be the end of this practice session. As you go through the day, remember how good it feels to be relaxed. Sometimes you have to make yourself a little tighter before you can be relaxed, just as we did in these exercises. Practice these exercises every day to get more and more relaxed. A good time to practice is at night. After you've gone to bed and the lights are out and you won't be disturbed, it might even help you be able to get back to sleep faster. Then, when you're a really good relaxer, you can help yourself even relax at school. Just remember the elephant or the mud puddle, and you can do your exercises and nobody will even know. Today is a good day and you are ready to feel very relaxed. You've worked hard and it feels good to work hard. Very slowly now, open your eyes and wiggle, wiggle your muscles around a little. Very good. You've done a good job. You're going to be a super relaxer.